Hi my dear students, how are you? Welcome to the session. In this video, we are going to talk about verbal analogies. So these questions are frequently seen in a lot of competitive exams and we will try our best to help understand how do we solve them correctly. My name is Juhi Narula. Let's get started. So before we talk about the nitty gritties, let's first try and understand that what do we mean by analogies. So analogy means similarity. Okay. So a very simple question can be if I said 2 is to 4 then 3 is to what? So you will say ma'am 2 ka square is 4 so 3 ka square it will be 9. It is as simple as that. So what happens is that you are given two pairs. One where there is one relationship that is exhibited and another pair you need to complete. So what is the task? You need to find the relationship between the given pair. So there can be n number of relationship like if I say pig is to oink. So pig is the sound, uh, you know, pig makes the sound oink. So cow's sound would be moo or uh, that you need to choose amongst the given options. Or there can be a simple relationship like, uh, you know, uh, the baby of cow is called calf. Now what is the baby of sheep called? So you need to have an intense vocabulary base, right? So you can't do without uh, knowing words, right? That's paramount. So People do ask us that, you know, there are no direct vocabulary questions where they will ask you that tell me the meaning of this word. But there are so many questions that get driven by vocabulary and, you know, you can't do anything if you don't know the word. So this is very, very important that you invest rightly adequate time in enhancing your vocabulary. Be it the questions of anon uh, antonyms, be it the question of synonyms, be it the questions of one word substitution or maybe you can find a term in reading comprehension where you need to know the meaning of the word in order to solve the question or be it the analogies questions. We need to have a solid vocabulary base and we have already talked about a lot of methods. So a lot of methods we have talked about, you know, root word approach, learn the roots. So if you know that uh, mal content, may mal is a negative root. So you'll decode the meaning that at least, you know, uh, we are looking for a positive word. So mal content cannot fit in. So, you know, that helps us retain the words in a better way and for a longer time. So that's one approach where we try and learn the root words. Then, of course, you can have your own pictionaries, right? You can, you know, create a, a picture and associate with the word. See, that lasts when cramming would not last longer. And we are anyways looking for ideas that can help us retain the words for a longer duration. I write the words in a notebook and uh, I keep on revising. It is, it is bound to happen. You're going to forget those words, right? So uh, that's the reason we say that try the approaches which are more, you know, uh, reasoned and more innovative and that will help you retain the word for a longer period of time. So root words is one uh, definite such approach. Then of course you can create pictionary where there is a picture and uh, uh, the picture represents the meaning of the word or you can at least get some idea. Then you can create some mnemonics where you are relating the word to a person, to a character, to an image, to a diagram. Uh, like I would, uh, you know, learn the word loquacious, which means talkative and I'll associate it with Navjot Singh Sidhu so that the word stays with me for a longer period of time, right? Or you can be very creative. Let's see, PK, lassitude, again. lassitude is laziness. So, lassi and lassitude, this is one mnemonic that I can think of. So, you can do that. You can, you know, uh, group the words. So, words that are, uh, you know, related to beauty or related to kindness, you can have all the words together. Say you pick up 100 words and then you make four major categories. Try to put those words in uh, those categories. If you feel that there is a need to create a fifth category, go on and do it. So, for example, the words like, uh, you know, magnanimous, philanthropy, altruism, all this will come in positive words that are reflecting kindness or goodness of a person, benevolence for that matter. So, you can can place the words there. So grouping of words is another interesting approach. You can make flashcards, take good quality piece of paper, write the words, write the meanings, uh, flip the card and use the main word in a sentence and carry the words wherever you are traveling in a metro, in a cab, waiting for your friend to come in the lunch break, waiting for the professor to finish the class or you've already solved the question, you're waiting for the trainer to you know move to the next question or you know, everybody else is doing so the trainer can't move. So you'll get a lot of seconds in the entire day. Whenever you're getting time, just take a look at those cards. You're not going to forget the words. So these are some innovative approaches which are, you know, 
far far more effective than cramming right so cramming again i'm reinstating would be very short term that's not, that's not going to help so if you're wanting to you know crack questions based on vocabulary of course that will also include the verbal analogy questions you need to have a strong vocabulary base apart from having a strong vocabulary base it is also very important to trace the relationship see understand this any test which takes the people from the varied backgrounds and then send the people to various backgrounds like if you are giving a civil services exam not everybody is going to you know be in the tax department somebody is going to be in the revenue somebody is going to go for foreign services somebody would be going to railways somebody would be being a police officer ips so but the test is a common filter so that is not a test of knowledge that's the test of logic so you have to be strong and understand that it's not that Want is logical or reasoning is logical. Verbal is also a test of logic, right? So you need to have good understanding of the logic. You should be able to trace the logic. You should be able to get the reasoning or get the relationship between the given analogous pair. Check the relationship, drive it well, and reach to the right answer. So how would logic come of course one way to build logic would be when you read a lot you expose yourself but at this point of time you should solve a lot of questions and you need to do the questions with the intent that you are learning something new especially in analogies and vocabulary driven questions if you'll go by this logic that okay ma'am has taught uh, us and now what are we going to do we are going to just apply there are thousands and thousands of relationships and logics possible so don't test yourself because at times we test ourselves acha 10 me se mujhe to do hi question hua to mera logic strong nahi hai that leads to you know uh, losing confidence that we wouldn't want we would want that our confidence should reach to heights right so when you will go with an intent acha i'll be learning 10 new logics 10 new relationships that's is another way to learn practice also helps you learning practice is not always meant for testing it is meant to learn it is meant to implement the knowledge implement the concepts implement the strategies and in this process also learn so especially when we are dealing with verbal analogies that would be my strong advice that you know you learn try with an intent that you know you are going to learn more relationships you are going to grasp your uh, you know uh, understanding you are going to get better and you can write those relationships or you can make flash cards of those relationships so the idea is that vocabulary is important knowing the logic is important learning through examples and you know absorbing the logics or knowing that okay these different kind of logics can appear in the exam and i should be aware right so all these things are needed to crack the questions once we are sorted what we are supposed to do then we'll be able to you know uh do well but if we are not clear what are we supposed to do then we'll be in a you know mad state and that we wouldn't want and that's where training helps so if you are taking a guided course there would be one mentor who will tell you that what is the path that has to be taken at times we are not able to do well in our lives or in our careers or in our exams because we are unclear we are just you know wandering and that's where the problem lies so this is a very important suggestion from my side that uh, you know uh, you start working on logic you start working on a strong vocab base practice the questions with the intent to learn if you'll do it as an intent to test for test so you leave the mocks whenever we are doing mocks we are testing ourselves but when we while we are practicing we are learning right don't just get confused students get confused they have attended one video and they would want to ace all the questions how can it happen right nobody no organization no trainer would tell you that okay just attend my classes and go for the test everybody would advise you to practice you know take mocks have some time for preparation right so if you're going for cat we'll say okay take 6 months if you're going for ssc take 5 months whatever whatever is your present situation how far you have to reach so if you are a beginner you might require a lot of time if you've got a strong base maybe in verbal you'll be able to do it quickly but with font you might need more time or you know there are different permutations and combinations possible so invest invest and understand that you will need time to go right so let's start in uh, understand that uh, how can we improve the vocabulary so uh, like i said that you know you should have a strong vocabulary base that's paramount and another important thing is that you know you should know all the meanings of the words here especially in these questions this would be required because agar aapko conventional meaning us school aur fish bol diya ab aap keh rahe ho school mein to bachche jaate hain fish se kya relationship hai agar aapko ye pata hai ki group of fish ko school bolte hain tab hi trap kar paoge question otherwise you would be just you know uh, 
यू नो एब्सोल्युटली क्लूलेस वु नॉट नो व्हाट टू डू राइट अब अगर आपको सारे मीनिंग्स नहीं पता वर्ड के तो कई बार ये क्वेश्चंस बहुत ट्रिकी हो जाते हैं ऑर्डनरी सिंपल क्वेश्चंस ट्रिकी हो जाते हैं क्योंकि हमें पूरे मीनिंग्स नहीं पता होते सो आई एम श्योर इफ यू हैव सीन अ लॉट ऑफ वीडियोस ऑफ माइन टीचिंग यू वोकैबुलरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस और वोकैब क्वेश्चंस आई ऑलवेज एम्फसाइज द जितने पॉसिबल मीनिंग्स ऑफ द वर्ड्स है सब याद करो अगर आप सब नहीं याद करोगे तो आप सही में फंस जाओगे एंड दैट वी वुडंट वांट वी वुडंट वांट एट ऑल फॉर आवर सेल्फ सो वेन एवर वी आर लर्निंग अ वर्ड सी चेक द डिक्शनरी अच्छा ये नाउन की तरह भी यूज हो सकता है वर्ब की तरह भी यूज हो सकता है नाउन की तरह यूज होगा तो क्या मीनिंग है वर्ब की तरह यूज होगा तो क्या मीनिंग है अगर एग्जेक्टिव की तरह यूज हो सकता है तो क्या मीनिंग है और कोई पॉसिबल मीनिंग है जब आप पूरी तरह से सेटिस्फाइड हो कि आपने सारे एवेन्यूज पे काम कर लिया है देन ओनली प्रोसीड इस तरह से वो कैबलरी इनहांस होती है ऐसे नहीं कि देर इज दिस वर्ड एडिप्ट स्किलफुल और आगे बढ़ते हैं राइट जब आप वर्ड सीख रहे हो सिनोनिम सीखने की कोशिश करो उसको सेंटेंस पे बनाओ उससे एसोसिएटेड कोई रूट वर्ड मिलता है उसको सीखो उसके एसोसिएटेड कोई एंटोनिम्स मिलते हैं उसको सीखो ऑन एन एवरेज किसी भी वर्ड को सीखने के लिए आपको पांच से सात मिनट का इन्वेस्टमेंट करना है एंड वॉट डू वी डू वी ओपन आर नोटबुक्स वर्ड लिखे होते हैं और हम लोग एक दस सेकेंड दस सेकेंड पांच सेकेंड चार सेकेंड का इन्वेस्टमेंट करते हैं इतने में आपको वर्ड लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम के लिए याद नहीं रहेगा राइट so we have done a lot of videos on vocabulary building these are few methods and of course if needed you can definitely walk through those videos uh, i have just mentioned in the beginning also grouping of words is one method right uh, flash cards jaise main aapko keh rahi thi bahut effective approach hai mnemonic se bahut interesting approach hai रूट वर्ड्स तो बेस्ट अप्रोच है अगर आप मुझसे कहोगे कि मुझे सिर्फ एक अप्रोच बता दो मुझे वैसे आई वुड ऑलवेज सजेस्ट जितनी अप्रोचेस को अमेलगमेट करके करेंगे उतना इम्प्रूवमेंट आएगा वो कैबलरी में उतना लॉन्ग टर्म रिजल्ट्स देखेंगे बट इफ यू स्टिल से वन फेवरेट अप्रोच इट विल स्टिल बी रूट वर्ड राइट आप इतने सारे वर्ड एक साथ सीख सकते हो देखो जैसे मैंने आपको कहा इफ एल जस्ट गिव यू सिंपल एग्जाम्पल अच्छा मुझे जोग्राफी पता है जियो स्टैंड फॉर अर्थ ग्राफी स्टैंड फॉर स्टडी राइट सो जियो अर्थ के अब जियो स्टेशनरी वर्ड बना लिया मैंने राइट ग्राफी स्टडी के लिए तो मैंने बिब्लियोग्राफी बना लिया अब बिब्लो स्टैंड फॉर ग्रुप बुक्स एंड ग्राफी स्टैंड फॉर स्टडीज तो बिब्लियोग्राफी क्या हो गया द बुक्स तो ऑथर स्टडी बिफोर राइटिंग अ रिपोर्ट आई एम श्योर आपने बहुत बिब्लियोग्राफी लिखी होंगी राइट अब बिब्लो फाइल बना लिया सो बिब्लियो फाइल में फिल स्टैंड फॉर लव बिब्लो स्टैंड फॉर बुक्स सो बिब्लो फाइल इज अ पर्सन हु लव रीडिंग और हु लव बुक्स राइट अब फिल से बना लिया तो फिल से फिल एंथ्रोपी बन गया एंथ्रो स्टैंड फॉर मैन काइंड राइट और फिल स्टैंड फॉर लव सो फिल एंथ्रोपी क्या हो गया लव फॉर मैन काइंड फिल को रिप्लेस कर दिया वर्ड लिख दिया मिस एंथ्रोपी सो मिस एंथ्रोपी मिस नेगेटिव रूट है मिस्टेक मिस रेप्रेजेंट सो मिस एंथ्रोपी क्या हो गया हेट्रेड फॉर मैन काइंड राइट अब उसके बाद आप एंथ्रोपोलॉजी बना लीजिए राइट और आप फिलेंड्रर बना लीजिए राइट right, और आप मिस्टेक बना लीजिए सो यू कैन सी अ वर्ड वेब क्रिएट एंड मीन कैन लर्न सो मेनी वर्ड्स यू नो बाय नोइंग द रूट सो आई एम नॉट श्योर यू नो कुछ एड देखे होंगे जहां पे वो कहते हैं एक घंटे में आपको एक हजार वर्ड सिखा देंगे उसका एंटायर लॉजिक यही होता है कि दे आर ड्रिवन बाय रूट सो कॉज वेद बहुत रिमीडियल है क्विक है लॉजिकल है रट्टा नहीं मारना राइट right? सो दिस विल रियली हेल्प यू देन ऑफकोर्स कैंगरू वर्ड्स एक बड़ी इंटरेस्टिंग अप्रोच होती है राइट सो कैंगरू वर्ड्स कैंगरू uh, क्या करता है अपने बेबी को पाउच में कैरी करता है तो ये कैंगरू रूट की वर्ड्स की अप्रोच क्या है कि जो वर्ड है उसी में उसका मीनिंग छुपा है राइट सो एडिप्ट का मतलब होता है स्किलफुल तो एप्ट परफेक्ट राइट सो इस तरीके से आपने वर्ड का मीनिंग उसी में ट्रेस कर लिया जैसे रोटन है रोटन का मतलब होता है राउंड सो देखो राउंड वर्ड के अंदर ये सबसे ना मेरी इंटरेस्टिंग अप्रोच सो कुछ आप कैंगरू वर्ड्स कर सकते हो कुछ ग्रुपिंग कर सकते हो रूट सिक्स सीख लो फ्लैश कार्ड बना लो निमोनिक्स बना लो पिक्शनरी क्रिएट कर लो राइट सो इतने सारे अप्रोचेस हैं इनको अगर आप सोचो यू नो एंड नॉट मोर जस्ट यू नो टेन टू फिफ्टीन मिनट्स ऑन एवरी डे बेसिस एंड यूल बी रेडी राइट सो दीज आर यू सजेशन नो सेकेंड लाइक आई सेट लॉजिक इज इम्पोर्टेंट राइट and enough practice like i was saying ki aap practice se seekhoge so for these questions you will only learn when you are practicing you know you are making special you know uh, notebook where you are noting down the relationships and you are aware of some of the relationships so what are the relationships that can be possibly tested part in a whole 
so you know india is a part of asia aisa koi relationship ho gaya right yeah jaipur is a part of rajasthan small and bigger ho gaya jaise mercury or venus hai so aapko ye samajh mein aana chahiye ki ek planet small hai ek planet big hai right coming before and after so kaun sa word you know kisi rhythm mein kisi pattern mein pehle aata hai kaun sa baad mein aata hai ये कॉज एंड इफेक्ट रिलेशनशिप हो सकता है जैसे इफ आई से ओबेसिटी लीड्स टू हार्ट एलमेंट्स और प्रॉब्लम सो ये कॉज एंड इफेक्ट रिलेशनशिप है राइट या फिर ए लैक्स बी तो ब्लड और एनीमिया राइट तो ब्लड अगर नहीं है तो लैक ऑफ एनीमिया लैक ऑफ ब्लड विल लीड टू एनीमिया सो इस तरह का रिलेशनशिप हो सकता है बी इज अ साइन और सिंबल ऑफ ए like you know um, i can see dove and peace so dove is the symbol of peace so there can be one such relationship right a is a type of b so uh, maybe you know a type of a breed so labrador is a type of dog this sort of a relationship can be there a is a tool of doing b so maybe you know uh, low is to uh, farm so something of this so there's so many relationships that we can think of that can be tested right all you and there can be antonyms or synonyms so matlab maine aapko keh diya peace uh, is to you know tranquil so tranquil is a state of calm so this is the relation where synonyms are working aur maine aapko ye keh diya courageous or timorous so timorous kaun ho gaya darpok ho gaya courageous kaun ho gaya strong ho gaya so this is one relationship right so there so many relationships that can work uh, right so what are we going to do now we are going to solve some questions we good 30 questions that mean 30 relationships so aap is video mein is dikh jaoge so uh, i'll give you good 2 minutes try these questions figure out and then we will discuss लॉजिकल आराम से रिलेशनशिप ट्रेस करिए जैसे देखिए अगर हम इसको डिस्कस करें सो वैंडल कॉजेज डैमेज राइट तो विक्टम तो क्राइम नहीं कॉज कर रहा विक्टम तो क्राइम की वजह से विक्टम बना हुआ राइट सो दिस कैन नॉट बी एडिक्शन एक टाइप की वीकनेस हो सकती है बट एडिक्शन कॉजेज वीकनेस नहीं आर्बिट्रेटर जज होता है सो आर्बिट्रेटर डिस्प्यूट नहीं कॉज करेगा टेम्पर शाउटिंग में कोई रिलेशनशिप दिखता नहीं बेस्ट कॉजेज अनायंस अनायंस मीन्स इट मेक्स यू एंग्री सो वी कैन गो फॉर बी एज एन आंसर राइट नेक्स्ट ट्राई करते हैं बॉटनी और प्लांट्स सो स्टडी ऑफ प्लांट्स को आप बॉटनी कहते हो राइट सो अब स्टडी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर को तो हर्ब्स नहीं कहते राइट right? या हर्ब्स की स्टडी को एग्रीकल्चर नहीं कहते राइट स्टडी ऑफ स्टार्स फॉर एस्ट्रोनॉमी कहते हैं वी कैन कीप दिस फिलोसफी इज नॉट स्टडी ऑफ बुक्स एंथ्रोपोलॉजी स्टडी ऑफ मैन काइंड एंड नॉट रिलीजन राइट सो दिस गोज आउट फॉरेस्ट्री और एवरग्रीन में कोई रिलेशन नहीं है सो वी कैन हैव बी एज एन आंसर अब देखो सेंसेस और पॉपुलेशन सो सेंसेस आई एम श्योर आपने देखा होगा सो यू कॉल इट पीपल यू नो स्टडी ऑफ पीपल तो so there are you know government employees in our country who would go to uh, you know houses and see how many people are below poverty line or you know um, how many people um, 
are having scooters and then eventually also the number is counted right so it's a count of the people so according to the census report this is the population this is going to be the increase in population so that's uh, the number of population is depicted by the census of the country and it happens over a period of time so we can uh, just take a look at the uh, options so catalog and pictures would definitely not match right uh, but inventory you keep it for the people who uh, work in factories they keep an inventory the number of the supplies so this can be an answer let's see the other options detonation and explosion would not work dictionary word elections tally with outrightly the no choices eliminate away so we can definitely pick b as a final answer so for all the three questions let's see what are the relationships so vandal is leading to damage right so it's a cause and effect relationship right the study of plants is botany so it's a name of the study right and uh, census is the count of population so we have three relationships that we have identified and we have seen a similar relationships in the answer choices right so i hope we are sorted let's erase the board and move to the next one So try both and fifth and then we'll discuss. So uh, let's start. Now, when we talk about uh, constellations, so constellation is a group of stars, right? So in that case, if we take a look at the available options, so Earth is not a collection, right? Goes out center and circle. Center is the midpoint of the circle, so that doesn't match. Archaeobiology, a group of islets, uh, is called archaeobiology. We can definitely keep this and uh, rain and water goes out maverick is uh, a person who is smart right or the word to group it so we relationship exactly in the exhibit we will go for c as an answer right cacophonous take is to hai caco is uh, phony stands for sound right so cacophonous means unpleasant sound something that troubles right just say I'm sure you have read a book padhi ho, ki, uh, poem padhi ho, ki, frog in the night angle by Vikram Seth it's a part of the CBSE, at least was when I was a kid. So the uh, frog and the night angel was the name of the poem. So the frog's voice is cacophone, which troubles the ears. And uh, uh, euphonous was the uh, sound of the night angel. EU, which stands for something which is good, right? So euphony, phonus. So euphony is a pleasant sound, right? So uh, just uh, digressing from the suggestion, uh, discussion, but that's how root words work. So EU is pleasant, phony is sound, right? 
so now uh, so cacophonous is an unpleasant uh, sound that troubles the ear so now outrageous is uh, you know so that goes out objectionable and commotion is disturbance erroneous is mistake noisome mouth doesn't work so rank is something that troubles the nose so that's another relationship that we have learned so e will be the answer right so you can uh, trace down the relationship pen them down so that you can, you can just leisurely read and you know keep in your mind that okay such sort of you know relationships can be exhibited in analogy questions right then we'll proceed so let's do the next set please try these questions and we'll discuss So let's discuss. Now we talk about belligerence. Belligerence is when you there's a lot of aggression in your personality, right? So again, uh, like I was saying, the roots are important. So uh, yeah, so belligerence is a trait shown by aggressor. Aggressor means the attacking mood. Mein rehta hai. Be belligerence is when you are ready to fight. That attitude, ko, right? So belligerence is the trait of aggressor. Similarly, insensitivity is the trait of boot. So A would be the answer. Now, in this, you can learn one root. So bell stands for war. So one word is ante bellum. See, so, ante is before. So here there is a catch. One is anti. Anti is against. So I am sure you must have heard anti-corruption, anti-terrorism. So this is A N T I. This is before. So anti bellum is a situation before war. Again, it's coming from the root rebel, aggressive, right? Bellicose, belligerent. All these words. So bell se root. If you know the word, uh, the word is negative and something associated with war, right? So yeah. For question number six, A will be the answer. Refine. So how do you purify oil? You purify oil by ref, uh, you know refining it. So we know the. So this is how you, I'm, I'm sure you must have seen your mothers or your granny is doing it. So I said, there's particularly a basket like this and you'll just, uh, you know, we know it. Make the wheat go upside down in small portions and whatever is, uh, you know, those uh, unnecessary, unwanted particles there, they go away by the wind. So that's how winnowing works. So yeah, A can be the right answer for question number seven. Baki to you can very easily see none of the options will match. Crest or wave. So crest kya hai? This is the peak of a wave. And it's put true bold. I'm sure ye kabhi to physics mein aapne bada hoga. So this is crest. So these are the waves going. Right? So the top of the wave is called a crest. So uh, climax is the top of the action. So that's how A definitely uh, fits in here also. Rest of the options are though on the other uh, slide but i'm sure they are easy eliminations so try question number nine and ten and then we'll proceed further
So next C, Lo is the sound Gao makes, right? So we have to see uh, which is the sound. So chirp is the sound made by bird, chirping of the birds, right? Oink is the sound made by the pig, right? Or uh, Ba is the sound made by the sheep or Ne is the sound made by the horse. Right, so you need to know this also, right? Students say, Mama, to KG me parte, but technique to apne parda hai, right? So this can again appear as a question. So you need to know all these words, these relationships, right? And uh, how would you know that what are the relationships you need to learn when you go through the questions and you'll see, oh, it, this type of question asked there. That's where the practice is required, right? So incorrigible. Uh, is something that's uh, that cannot be reformed okay so that cannot be reformed that cannot be modified that cannot be changed so intractable wo ho gaya, which cannot be managed so do cheeze kar rahe ho in question pe pehle relationship trace kar rahe ho waise ek similar relationship answer choices mein se dhoond rahe ho Right, so for question number 9th, we can pick B as an answer and question number 10th, we can pick B as an answer. Right, I hope we are sorted here. Let's move to the next set. Try these three questions, then we will discuss. So let's see. Perspicacious matlab a person who has got great insight. Theek hai? Toh characteristic trait hai ki there is a lot of insight. Uh, vision bhoat achcha hai. Thought process achcha hai. So that's the relationship. Ab dekhye. Zealous is lot of enthusiasm but mobility is movement. Toh match nahi karega. Audacious, brave hona hai. Hearing, sunna hota hai. Toh that also cannot be the, you know, uh, pair that is exhibiting the similar relationship, right? So, uh, what we can do is we can eliminate A and B. Delicious or taste. So, again goes out. This is greed. So, greed and generosity opposite. So, process of elimination we help. Karte. Now, bacha ye. amiable means, um, you know, a person is very warm, friendly, lovable. So, we can pick E as an answer, right? So, let's come to uh, 12. Hamlet is a small village. Ek chote ko a hamlet ke te, right? So, uh, similarly, uh, a photograph ka short uh, portrait nahi hoga, buildings, skyscraper, skyscraper, matlab huge buildings, car, convertible, street, sidewalk, asan eliminations hai. So, small house, so you call it a cottage. So, E will be the best relationship for both the questions. Malleable wo hai, jo usma aap asani se shape kar sakte. I'm sure apne metals ki properties padhi hongi, to malleable hai, aap fin sheets mein convert kar sakte ho, ductile hai, wire mein convert kar sakte ho. Right, so uh, malleable is something that can be shaped. Similarly, if you see, then amenable is the one that you can easily persuade, which you can explain, which you can give a perspective. Sakte. Flexible or bullied no relationship nahi share karte. Tolerable handle no share karte. Pliable, negotiable, all these are useless relationships. So clearly, this was also an easy question tha because eliminations were easy. There was no close fall. Nahi aaya. So, it's here B, uh, we'll go for this, right? So, I'm sure we are sorted with all these three questions. You can uh, note down the relationships, any relationship which is new, so you can definitely pen down so that you have the meanings with you and you know what sort of questions you can encounter, then we'll proceed further.
So let's move to the next uh, three, uh, these two questions. Try this, then we will discuss. So what do we do? Uh, we try the relationship for question number 14. So parody is imitation. You copy it, copy it, you 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 copy it. That's what we mean by parody, right? Stanza and verse poem ke part hai. Limerick is again a humorous poem. We call it poem. Correct pronunciation to SI, we call it poem. So however it uh, it's, fits in, right? So, uh, so limerick is a humorous poem. In case, ab ye thoda peculiar word hai, ye a bahut specific word hai, right? So you need to uh, know the meaning. So it's a humorous poem, right? So this is something that you need to learn. Novel new hai, portrait, painting, riddle or puzzle. Ye aasan elimination. Dekho, agar tum elimination se karoge, to tumhe agar B ka matlab nahi bhi pata, you will be able to reach to the answer. So that's something that you need to inculcate and that can only happen when you practice, right? So, analgesic is given to elevate pain. Similarly, palliatives are given to elevate symptoms. So, we can go for B as an answer, right? So, for both the questions, the answer will be B. You can write the meaning of the word limerick, right? It's a humorous poem, short poem, which is funny, right? So, do it and then we we'll proceed. So let's move to the next uh, two questions. Try this. So see, a novice is the one who lacks experience, right? So, uh, novice is a beginner, okay? So, of course, uh, he would be lacking experience. So, uh, invader would lack bravery, we can't say. Questioner would lack knowledge, we can't say. Narrator would lack objectivity, we can't say. Ingenuine lack talent, can't say. Yes, so dupe is the person who would lack sophistication, right? So, we can mark E as an answer, right? Now, addendum is some addition to the book. Similarly, there's this term codicil. Again, it's a very precise term. Let's say when I put limerick, the precise essay, codicil is an attain, you know. Um, is an addition done to the will. So, please note down the meaning of this uh, word, addition done to the will. C will be the right answer. Note this meaning, then we'll move to the next step. So, let's try these two questions and we'll discuss.
so greasily leads to disgust disgust is a but a strong emotion of unliking anybody right not liking right but in fact disgust goes more towards hating right so similarly in daring matlab itna in daring is so lovable that it leads to affection so b will be the right answer for uh, this question right we can pick up b as an answer this is more of a vocab test here right diatribe is an abusive speech okay and you logy like remember i did uh, talk about see this is how magic happens if you are really putting an effort to enhance vocabulary you will start finding the words here and there right so you uh, use stand for something which is good so we did talk about uh, euphony right your logy is something uh said the speech said to appreciate somebody to praise somebody usually eulogy is after a person's death so laudatory is to appreciate so c would be the right answer right so we know both these questions now let's move to the next one and then we will uh, do a quick test so please try this and then we will move to the test So see, uh, when you have this feeling of penchant, that means you're strongly inclined towards something, right? So uh, loathing is when you feel a strong sense of contempt towards something. So A would be the right answer, right? So um, this brings us to uh, the end of the first set. Now we'll go do quick twenty ten questions, which would be just a quick quick test. So let's get uh, started. Um, you can see the first question. I'll give you thirty seconds, and we'll start with the discussion. So see, passive and movement. These are two opposites. So hypothetical and reality. That would be the two opposite pairs, right? So let's uh, try this. तो माइजरली जो चीप है पैसा नहीं खर्च करेगा होमोजीनियस मतलब सेम या अलाइक सो वी कैन पिक अगेन सी एज एन आंसर लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट वन पिल्फर करना होता है टू स्टील पिल्फरिंग वुड बी आपने छोटी छोटी चीजों की चोरी कर जिस चिंदी चोरी कहते हैं बट पिल्फरिंग और स्टीलिंग से नॉन एम टर्म्स बताएंगे तो इक्विप करना क्या हो जाएगा फर्निश करना हो जाएगा सो डी वुड बी द आंसर राइट सो पिल्फरिंग इज टू स्टील इन एक्सपेंसिव थिंग्स छोटी मोटी चोरी करना ओके सो वी कैन पिक बी एज एन आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन यू कैन राइट द मीनिंग एंड देन वी प्रोसीड let's try this jive and uh, praise take a jive is kisi ke maza lena ya negative kataksh karna praise opposite ho jayega so it enlighten hota hai kisi ko you know uh, uh, wisdom de rahe ho delude matlab kisi ko bhatka rahe ho so we can pick b as an answer for this question right that would be the closest match quixotic or uh, murky 
pragmatic so so exotic or pragmatic would be you know more or less like synonyms so murky is something which is uh, unclear so cloudy yeah you know you're not having a good side towards it so b will be the answer let's try this Pecan is fertile, infertile opposite over here, right? So uh, we have to see fleet ke saath which what, what will go. So slow will go. So you can pick B as an answer. Let's try this. जेनियत होता है टॉप ठीक है तो एपिक्स भी सनॉनिम है और अगर आप फियर और कंपोजर देखोगे तो फियर आप डरे हुए कंपोजर मतलब इन अ स्टेट ऑफ रिलैक्स स्टेट यार इन अ रिलैक्स स्टेट राइट सो ऑपोजिट हो गया सो जेनियत का ऑपोजिट क्या होगा जेनियत इज टॉप टू बॉटम ऑपोजिट होगा बॉटम नादर को कहते हैं राइट सो वी विल पिक बी एज एन आंसर लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट वन So poetry has got rhyme in it. Philosophy has theory in it, right? Let's try this. Obscene or coarse synonyms, right? So obtuse का मतलब होता है dull होना, obstinate होता है ज़िद्दी होना, stubborn होना. और ऑब्सक्योर है डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड सो वील पिक स्टूपर्ड एज एन आंसर राइट डी विल बी द राइट आंसर ओके सो लेट्स ट्राई क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन तो देखो मार्शल और प्रिजनर सो मार्शल क्या है मार्शल जो प्रिजनर्स को कंट्रोल करता है राइट right? और प्रिंसिपल किसको कंट्रोल करेगा स्टूडेंट तो डी विल बी द आंसर राइट सो दिस ब्रिंग्स अस टू द एंड ऑफ द सेशन नाउ हियर आर सम फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट सजेशंस कंसिस्टेंट रहो एवरी डे प्लीज स्पेंड सम टाइम आई एम श्योर यू मस्ट हैव रियलाइज्ड दैट विदाउट वोकैबुलरी यू विल बी इन अ डिफिकल्ट स्टेट राइट सो इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वोकैबुलरी जर्नल रखो एन्युअली ट्रेस करो कितना वर्ड्स आप लर्न करो बहुत स्मार्ट स्किल होती है जब आप अपनी प्रोग्रेस को ट्रैक करते हो राइट जो नए रिलेशनशिप्स आप लिख रहे हो सीख रहे हो उनको ट्रेस करो राइट और लाइक आई सेड यू नीड टू नो ऑल द मीनिंग्स ऑफ द वर्ड सो इस दिस इज अगेन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सजेशन सो इन अ बॉटम लाइन दीज आर थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट स्ट्रॉन्ग सजेशन दैट विल हेल्प यू डू बेटर विद वो कैबलरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन राइट आई होप यू रियली लाइक द सेशन प्लीज हेल्प अस स्प्रेड द वर्ड एंड यू कैन विजिट द वेबसाइट फॉर मोर ट्यूटोरियल्स टेक केयर गॉड ब्लेस यू एंड डोंट फर्गेट कंसिस्टेंसी इज द की ऑल द बेस्ट